Welcome back, Salaman. It's my name is Dr. Eve, and this is some more European Rosales 4 playing as Ethiopia in the Cossacks expansion. Currently at war with Tiberistan because it's sort of an easy war for us. Mahe now has sugar. I like that. Um, you're actually going through the wrong province there. What is it? Which one is it? We already sieged their capital? No, we couldn't have. No, no, Mazandaran is their capital. Recovery ticks at the right time. Let's crush. Or try to crush that army. It's in the mountains, so we do get a minus two, but... We are definitely the stronger army in general. Oh, wow, we actually get slaves. In El Junaina. Tehran. 14 base tanks. Oh, they're actually retreating all the way up to Shirvan now, too. Um, yeah, I would like to get as much land as I can. To be honest. And of course, sieging down their fort will help a lot with that. Really? Oh, we probably have too much war exhaustion. We can have six more troops again. I like that. Um, Ardalan. Yeah, I cannot really start the in um, claim at this moment. But I'd like to get some claims here as well. Different access route into their lands. Oh man, the Karakionlu is so far destroyed, so far gone. I remember Oman forcing them to become a vassal at some point. Ah, that's gotta hurt. That's Khorasan. Yeah, we're going full on into Persia now. Oh, Persia takes land as well. Oh, hello. Where do you think you're going? I'm cutting you off. If these guys wanted to join, that would be amazing. That's a 3-3-4 ruler. Shervan has some really good rulers. Uh, leaders, not rulers. Um, anyway, Kerman Shah, Ilam, Korambat, Yasuij. It's not that much. Holy crap. Still only 61. It would probably be something to core, but... Could just add so many provinces. I don't want to do that that many though. Early Skiva. Could do that. Return course to Persia. No, 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 no. End your deals with the Shirvan. Give me war operations. I just don't want to take too much right now. of course the main thing hey we can con we can only convert one of them oh religious zeal well then I'm definitely starting the conversion on Elam when can we convert you 1617 1637 and 1642 there we go manpower recovery speed as well as prestige I'm just scoring them and reducing these things. 17 months, probably possible. I'm still doing it. Just to be sure. I can only do a naval race versus the Ottomans right now. It's fine. Hey, let's transfer our leader down south and attack Kilwa. Then, oh, assimilation. I like that. Yeah. I'll lose 10 prestige for 5 loyalty. Just superiority. I don't have any claims. I don't care. Here we go. Level 4 fort, though. That's a rough one. And let's cycle that naval mission thing. I might actually need to bring down a second army. No, I'm actually going to set that one in Man for now. You're going to Kurumbat. Yeah, we're home from Kilwa. Mm, back to back wars. Hey, look, it's their army. They're probably going to seize down on Gosh. 
It's not surprising. Actually, they're going for Quelly main. Screw it, I'm attacking them first then. I have the superior army. I'm two tech levels ahead. Even though it's a river crossing. Yeah, look at the number differences. Oh, that's a really strong one too. There they go. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Spain would be able to be called in. I don't want to call in Spain on that war though, but it is possible somehow. Um, yeah, it's... Not, more manpower is actually not bad. Right now it's not, no. Getting our claim in Baluchistan. We have our claim in Laristan. Over here. It's not bad, not bad at all. So they would still not join a war against the Ottomans, right? Oh, Poland wouldn't do that. Oh, because it would be called into multiple wars. Attitude towards enemies is not minus 30. They, we have plus 12 trust. Let's see how what our actual trust is with Spain. Um, our trust is 60. Wow, actually, hang on. I only need 10 favors to call them in. So that's really good. We get a favor every year as well, so. And now at 77 trusts, they're even more likely to come in to a war. Uh, let's improve relations though, we're way too low with them. 28. That is indeed too low in relations. If I could get this siege done quickly, that would be nice. I mean, it takes me freaking 8 months to get an extra army down here. That's not, not something I currently want to do at all. So, this is the one army. Ah, oh, really? Status quo. It would be nice to just go in and crush their army, but... Give me two guys. Yeah, I can't get anywhere except for Madanda. It's the only problems I can currently take over. And they're coming around again. Of course they are. Hang on. Um, in that case, I'm going to drop one guy over here. I'm going to fight you. And now I don't get the um, river crossing. I cannot go anywhere else though. That fort is just stopping everything from happening at the moment. There, recombine. We are getting... I need one extra artillery down here. I really do. That gives me an extra siege roll bonus. It's a good fort. It's pretty good for them to have that big fort there. So it'll take some time to build. 24th of April. Holy crap. Oh, so long. Armies up here. Great advisor died. Um, well, not much progress here, though. That's good. Statesman, level 3. Now, let's check again with Spain. 39. They, if we were not at war with Kilwa... They would join a war against the Ottomans. Because our trust is now high enough for them to join in. Um, on that note, Poland. What is our trust like? No! The 61-year-old had a kid. Are you kidding me? Uh, 
asshole. That's just really unfortunate. Oh man. Some of your provinces like course, I know. It's because I don't because I'm converting it first. Was it something I could do? So, Zanzibar, Ardalan. Oh, separate types of rebels is always nice. Ah, uh, really? You're coming in again? At least I can just um, maintain the siege progress once it more. And let's go. Thirteenth, tenth. Yep, we're doing this again. I have way more manpower than they do, so... And they're gone. And... Wow, they lost a shit ton. It's mostly... There's no cavalry left in that one... Siege the group now. Oh, they went to Zimbabwe of all places. Well, we have more cannons. Hmm, we have one army with one cannon. There we go. Minus seven percent. Yeah, that should be doable. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Mamluks are coming to join the fray. They're gonna have a party. Wow, we're, we've had some money coming in for a while. Um, yeah, getting... Jesus, that's because the clergy and the autonomy stuff. It's annoying. Uh, at least get one in Basra, because it's almost 500 for 200. Uh, barracks. Is anywhere that's actually good for barracks? In 250? It's pretty decent. I mean... All of this is now nobility lands, except for like these two colonies. But it should give me more than 94. Because nobility gives a huge manpower modifier. Right? Local manpower plus 50%. That is not calculated. Hang on, or is it? Um, 500. Hang on. Do we have a barracks in one of these provinces? I want to check on that. We do it in Ber Berbera. 1293. So the barracks is just straight up 50% more on the base. Okay. So and then on top of that. Oh man. That's just annoying bullshit. Yeah. The combination just doesn't work. We have like no problems with more than that amount of manpower apparently. Like, 250 is the best we can do right now. I think... So, yeah. Oh, hang on. Yes, 354. I'll take it. That's one I'll be, I'm willing to take. Oh, oh, hello. Well, we now have a positive chance of taking it, the province. Well, that's a conversion in Ilam. So, is that going to be unrest gone? Yeah. Internal conflicts in Orissa. Well, doesn't that suck? Um, 5463 still. It's Ming hasn't fallen apart yet. Regimental spirit, land attrition down. Ooh. Sounds fancy, no idea if it's actually useful. 21% now. Mamlocks, are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to drop some army units for that one then. I'm gonna have to be in this fight. Well, the Mamluk leader is taking over, which means... Ability gains 10 influence. That brings him to... 56. Yeah, I had to help the Mamluks in that fight. We only lost... Hmm. 3,000. They lost all their cavalry and cannons again. Well, they lost all their cavalry and their lost cannons. They didn't lose all their cannons. 
If I can take all the gold provinces, I'm going to be so happy. I'm in this war to take as much as I can, by the way. 35% now. That's... It can only go up to one more. No, to 13 now. So it can still go to 49% chance. Three twenty-five. Is that worth it? Probably not. Ah, we've won the siege. Time to crush their army in the highlands. Also, the Mamluks are now free to move around a bit. Uh, hang on. No, 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 no. I disagree about this. Go away. Yes, I'm chasing the army wherever it goes. Oh, they're gonna siege the capital now for me as well. Um, and that's a stack wipe. And we can just start sieging. Ooh, wow, at least we have our general there. And they're gone. Wait, wait, that's their capital? Oh, crap. I thought Shengwei was their capital. Apparently they have two separate cap... They had another fort lying around. Ugh, the bastard. Warriors do not read books. Are you kidding me? Randomly dropping stability. For no freaking apparent reason. Pause. There we go. Timing. Zumba. Oh, look. Really? You're actually getting away now? Um, no, 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 no. Not what I wanted to click. I just need to take care of this army. My, it's become self sustaining. Very good. So we're going to core it for 23. 2 to 1, not the worst. Il Bourbon, Mauritius. We're going to get a colonist back for that, that's true. Let's get Diego Garcia. Let me just get, bring you guys back here. Persia declared war upon their new enemy. Okay, cannons need to go to Zimbabwe. Everyone else can leave. Yep, I'm not using anything like keyboard shortcuts, mostly. A 28, and we take the siege. Okay, fine. Then in that case, cannon can go there instead. Nearly have everything we need. <laughs> 316 over here. Um, you know. Okay, so yeah, we're still pretty much in time to declare war against Spain. Uh, Ottomans, I mean, with Spain. Hey, that's a core. That's a barracks. That's... Ah, rebels. Um, finish this up. Permanent Casas Belly. Well, it gives us five discipline and one yearly legitimacy. I'll take it for the discipline. And that might have been stupid because we probably have to pay a lot of Diplo power to take... Oh, our... Hmm. Our marriage just ended. Um, no, 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 no. Royal marriage. Royal marriage. Send it. Ah, they were already sending it too. Um, if they die now, we have the heir. Would be amazing. Good. Um, army... Okay, I need to wait for next month anyway for my 
missionary or uh, diplomat wow words really uh, it's getting late for me recording quite late because I was in the mood to play you know okay he's back home let's talk sue for peace um get the fort out of the way that's gold that's gold that's gold 85 only kill what cares they would have four provinces left Mutapa, ooh, hang on, um, Mutapa of course, one, two, three, four, these six are all course of Mutapa, so if I just do something like this, ooh, that's way too expensive though. Um, I'd like every gold province, but it's not necessity. But I'm just gonna take half because the other half will be very easy to take anyway. Force them to give you money as well. There we go. Taking the rest of the country will cost me 73% war score, so that's roughly the same. We could start converting or coring. Um, coring is very expensive. Like, seriously expensive down here. Yeah, we're spending admin power all the time. Reduce overextension, though. I like that. Um, let's see. Definitely gonna reduce revolt risk, though. Oh, uh, that's because there's an army there. Um, you know what? We have three... busy guys. Let's just start converting the bastards. Masapa, yeah, you're cheap to core. I'll start your core, though. I feel like I have to keep my army here until we've converted them. Or they've had one rebellion. I should have just increased rebellion risk. Force the rebellion, get the 100 reduction, and then get out again. Might have been the better idea. Might have been. Oh, and now the clergy is whining again. Of course they are. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.